Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of FTB Beyond. And yeah, I've been a little busy between episodes. Better drink some juice. I've been a, a little bit busy. I uh, gathered some more resources, so obviously. Because that's that's what you do off camera. Um also I've got a bit of a floor plan laid out. Now the link to the floor plan itself will be in the description. I don't actually know who it came from, but uh, I was thinking do a small, simple, basic castle. Small castle. It's actually listed as a large castle, but, well, <laughs> I've seen large, and trust me, this is medium-sized. Anyways, uh, but it's got a bunch of different rooms, and I did not realize this, but... Even though I think the plane was designed for vanilla, it actually would fit perfectly here. And there, there is this room here, which is the workshop slash forge. I, originally, I was not going to put that stuff inside the castle, but I got looking at it, and it's, it screams for it. And then there's this unknown, inaccessible room in the middle, and I was thinking, that would be perfect for a smeltery, which we actually have the parts for. So, also storage. Um, we'll move the storage stuff, but not right now. First, I was thinking we would try at least get our small sized smelter set up. Let's see, put the crate there. We have everything, should have everything we need for this. There I go with the gas. Let's see now. I'm thinking putting a controller here. Uh, those are the drains. Okay. So I drain there. Drain there. Yeah, I tend to just run around with those yellow X's on. It's just easier. Do we put that at the... I think you can put it down a block too. Which is good. Smelter. And of course we need to dig out the 3x3 three three in the middle here. Well, <laughs> I say 3x3, three three, but it's not quite a 3x3. Three three. Um, I think we still have enough. Here in a second, we'll find out if this is actually the correct dimensions. No. Uh-oh. No! Oh yeah, we need to... Silly me, we need to tank. I don't think it'll work there. No. It's gotta be... Got to be in a more solid location. That'll work. I think I'm going to replace the block under it just so it looks better. Alright. Got that in place. Couple of drains. Basin. That. Alright. And of course, over time, we're going to. Going to be. Making it taller, but not right now. We don't actually have enough uh, stuff to make that yet. 14. I don't think that's enough to go around another round. I mean, it probably would be if we cut these corners out, but. On the front side in particular, because of the way it is designed, I think think that it would probably be best to just have that be solid blocks. One, two, three, four. Ooh. Nice. Uh, yeah. Now, how do we get out of here? 
All right, I think that'll work for that. And then we're gonna make a mess because there's stuff in most of these tables. Uh, pickaxe for that. Fortunately, the pattern chest hangs onto the patterns. So, yeah. Let's see how that goes there. I think I want to put the part builder there. And then, like that. Because I believe that that gives both access to the chest. The pattern chest, which is actually where that goes. Blank patterns. Yeah. And then that goes there for the repairs. Okay. Now, as for machine processing, I don't actually know exactly how I'm going to set that up yet. Let's see. Now we, we need to put that over one. Just one. And I'll stick that in there for now. Also, there's the matter of power gen. Which... Uh, I do want to get a an immersive engineering windmill set up over here. But that's not going to be able to be our main source of power. Eventually, I think we're going to want to do a an extreme reactor for that. Just because... Or we could do solar slash lunar panels which I know people will look at the uh, solar and then they forget that there's also lunar uh, as an option as well <laughs> draconic solar Ooh. that looks pretty nice but there's not no because uh, it does hit the pack does have environmental tech and there's also this thing called lunar tech E.T. Lunars? Yeah. Which has a lunar panel. Not terribly difficult to craft, but we're going to have to... We're going to have to go to the nether here at some point. No, it gave me that too. Yeah, we don't actually have a bed at the moment. Uh, that's, that's a problem. Stick the grindstone there for now. Just for now, and then back here, of course, is the storage room. Anyways. I've been having a, a mess about, and there is a barrel. Uh, there, Jabba has not been updated. This is Yaba. Yet another better barrel attempt instead of just another better barrel attempt. And I found something really neat about these. I was doing some testing trying to figure out how to move it without spilling the contents everywhere. Just break it. It keeps its inventory. Which I think is really nice. Dirt. Cobble. The cobble barrel is almost full. By default it holds 64 stacks. We're going to need that. And of course, there's also the chest transporter, which this is going to be a little more. How are we going to run it over there without having to jump? Because last time I checked, you can't really jump when you're transporting a chest. And I think it'll rotate it the same way as how it was already set up. In the orientation that you had it when you picked it up. Ah, no. Good. It rotated it the way I wanted it to. That's nice. Alright, and we want to pick that up and then empty this. The other one's... <sighs> Darn it. I was going to say, the other one's a little more complicated because of the whole... It's full of stuff, but then my... Mac, I've upgraded a few times and yeah, mess. And of course, we make a nice little mess. Uh, 
It just went everywhere. Dang. <laughs> everywhere. I've added haste to the Matic twice. Uh, dirt actually goes in our barrel over there. I did and make the storage mover so that we could move it without it going, everything going flying everywhere. Now we can break it and pick everything up. Unfortunately, those only have a one-time use, and we don't exactly have a huge supply of quartz at the moment. So, yeah. But, that's everything moved. Probably close the doors for now. That's all of that moved. This should be an empty crafting station. This one's got the grout recipe in it. Or partially. Yeah, I'll put it put that here for now. Alright, put that there, and then there's another one I think I'll just throw it in here for now. For now. Let's see, anything else out here? What will be quote unquote and I know you can't see it, but in inverted commas indoors. <laughs> Cause yeah, there, there there isn't actually an indoors right now. Now, let's go grab some of that. Um, I do have a couple of other little signs around labeling a couple of things that I I think we should do here. Um, I was looking at it, and I think this would probably actually be the best side to put a dock on. And then up here. It'll probably not just be right here because this is a very tiny area, but I was thinking we could do some Batania stuff too. Not necessarily really advanced to be doing really advanced Batania stuff, but for the looks, largely. And of course we've got our pup. I don't think I showed that in the last episode, but we have a dog. Let's make you sit up here. Guard dog. Good boy. And then, uh, over there, I was thinking we could put our portals. Now, I'm familiar with the changes to the mining dimension, but I'm not quite sure on the, uh, on the nether changes at the moment. Mostly because in my creative testing world, I switched it over to peaceful. Because that's what I do. That's just how I roll. But at some point, we're going to need a supply of lava. And so the nether is probably going to be one of the more important places to go. Uh, flight's going to be a bit tricky. I think we're going to have to do jetpacks. Simply because the angel ring, when they say they tweaked the recipe to make it more expensive, they weren't kidding. Go ahead and uh, pull that up. But yeah, two nether stars for it. Yeah, they, they, they were not kidding about making that more expensive. One, two, three. And now, you guys are seeing this the next day, but when I was watching this, it was during Hypno's live stream, and he was surprised by the changes. I, on the other hand, already knew about it, because I, you know, read the change log. But, this is our uh, mining dimension. It is in the list that they removed all the dirt and grass, and they gave it a daylight day-night cycle. Uh, changed it to have that. I'm not quite sure how they changed that. I I don't know if you just switched it over into configs to do day and night or not. I've messed with it myself. Yeah, it's the middle of the night. Uh, yeah, uh, portal. Followed shortly by a, uh... There are creepers everywhere. Bye! <laughs> Not sticking around! 
due to the whole way we've got our, uh, well, the way that we have our setup going, I don't think we're going to need the Demanding Dimension for much. Although, I was thinking we could put some solar and lunar panels there for the looks thing, but at the same time, the problem you run into is that the way chunk loading has been changed. Let's see, do we have any sand? I don't think we do. Oh, we we have a little bit of sand. Good. Good. Let's go put some sand. Because in the nether... I think most of what we're going to need resource-wise is going to be in the nether, not in the mining dimension. Simply because that's just the way it's uh, set up right now. Two, three. Oh. One, two, three. Some sand. Not sned. Sned's in the pack too, but this isn't sned. This is just sand. Alright. Well, let's go die. Surprisingly enough, I haven't actually died yet. Achievement get. Uh, the diamond, or my current pick only has diamond level mining. And so I figured out that in order to, and it's going to take it a minute. Um, in order to mine obsidian, you actually have to use a vanilla pick at first. Loading, loading. Let's see now. Waypoints. Portal. There's actually a simple void dimension, but we don't have the stuff to make it yet. Which is where I think we're going to be putting things like the void resource miner, the uh, ore miner. I don't think this has nether ores in it. So far, so good. Delicious, delicious quartz. Black leg. In a single player world. Yeah, so far it's mostly vanilla ish nether except for the Natura stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's Natura. And of course, these things, these vines. Eh, tinkers. There should be draconium around somewhere. We good? We good, bud? We good? Good. Some shrooms, magma cube, which we're gonna stay far away from for now. Uh, for our flight, when we get to it, I think we're gonna have to do a jetpack. I think I said that already. In any event, this episode's getting a little bit long. Wait on the world to load up again. Um, there was one other thing I was going to do today, in today's episode, before I go. Let's jump up here, because we want to center ourselves mostly. I keep forgetting to do it, but at some point I was thinking we should probably go ahead and claim chunks. I want to get all of that. All of that over to here. Looks like he's going to claim part of that too. Not too concerned about the ice sheet. That's not too bad, only 72. I think I'm like, uh, I think, no, uh, ah, that. there we go, go ahead and claim a little bit further out because of things like the docks, but there we go, and to disable the explosions, it's actually not that hard, um, I'll show you here in a second, we don't need any of that. But to disable the explosions, if you don't want, like, creepers blowing up, 
There's the Disable Explosions and Claimed Chunks. You'll need to change that to True in order to not have your stuff get blown up. But we're getting a little long here, getting a little carried away with our time. In any event, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. And if you really enjoyed it, then do be sure to subscribe for more videos. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.